from the New World. When my family settled in the New World, there were many, many strange, different creatures. For one thing, there was this, this animal, it was sort of like, it was sort of like a dog, sort of like a cat, but had a mask, like a bandit. And they call it a raccoon. My aunt ended up finding some baby raccoons. The mother had been killed, and so she begged and pleaded and was allowed to adopt one of these sweet, banditted, pansy <laughs> little creatures. So she has this raccoon. It is a member of the house. It, it comes and goes as it pleases. An elderly aunt came to visit one day. Came to visit for a fairly extended period of time. And, or at least that was the intent. This aunt came and when you're going, well, when you stay at somebody's house, of course, you find out where all the facilities are. <laughs> nature, it calls. In the middle of the night, this aunt, on the first night of her stay, goes to where no one goes to do their business and arranges clothing, settles in. The thing about these little creatures, these raccoons with their little masks and their little hands, is that when they have food, when they have shiny things, they like shiny things. Oh, they like shiny things. They're kind of like barbs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they like shiny things. When they have these shiny things or food or something, they like to wash it. Well, the place that was to where, where people were to be relieving themselves, there was some standing water nearby. And this, and as she arranged herself, did not realize that the family pet was nearby. Oh. So she settles in. It's the middle of the night. It's very dark. <laughs> <laughs> and feels little gravity hands upon her naked posterior. <laughs> <laughs> The ant did not stay for her intended period of time. In fact, there was much shrieking and accusation and why would you keep a demon like that anywhere near the house? And, uh, but yes, hands, handsy little bandits from the new world. Thank you.